Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the occasion of Saudi Arabia's National Day. His Majesty wished the Saudi King lasting good health and happiness, and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on his country's National Day. His Royal Highness extended deepest congratulations to the Saudi King on this national occasion, wishing him lasting good health and happiness, and the Saudi people further progress and prosperity. He also sent a similar cable to the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Defense Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the occasion of Saudi Arabia's National Day. His Royal Highness extended his deepest congratulations to the Saudi King on this national occasion, wishing him lasting good health and happiness, and the Saudi people further progress and prosperity under his leadership. His Royal Highness sent a similar cable to the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. A telephone call was held today between His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Prime Minister of the State of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince underscored the importance of securing regional and international stability and enhancing efforts to support peace in the region. He noted that the signing of the Declaration of Peace between Bahrain and Israel will strengthen regional security, stability and prosperity. His Royal Highness and the Prime Minister of Israel reviewed potential areas of bilateral cooperation and relevant regional and international developments. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa highlighted that the continued determination of the unity of the Kingdom's citizens and residents in supporting national efforts to combat COVID-19 remains central to overcoming these challenges. His Royal Highness highlighted that the contributions of his fellow volunteers from the Kingdom in reaching their volunteering target for the Phase 3 COVID-19 vaccine trials was both noble and charitable, showing great humanity and compassion. He noted that the scale of volunteering by citizens and residents is a source of pride and will remain marked in the Kingdom's history, marking a humanitarian achievement on behalf of the Kingdom and its people for the world. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince then expressed gratitude to frontline workers who have worked relentlessly day and night at various locations as well as to Team Bahrain who have helped support national efforts to ensure the health of the community is safeguarded. His Royal Highness emphasized that the Kingdom's participation in the Phase 3 COVID-19 vaccine trial has further strengthened its global humanitarian contributions, wishing the organizers of the vaccine trials every success in the next phases. He expressed his appreciation for the efforts of all who have supported the different phases of the trials, including the clinical trials taking place in Bahrain, China and the UAE. His Royal Highness highlighted that bilateral cooperation between Bahrain and the UAE in the Phase 3 trials will contribute to producing a safe vaccine to benefit all. The Sultan sovereign ruler of the state of Johor abode of dignity and its territories in Malaysia, His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim ibn Marhum Sultan Iskandar, has left Bahrain yesterday following a visit to the kingdom during which he met with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King's personal representative, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Governor of Muharraq bade farewell to His Majesty the Sultan of Johor. The Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh paid tribute to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for leading Bahrain towards a prosperous future. He commended the Royal Directives as he chaired the weekly cabinet meeting yesterday, which was attended by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. He reiterated the Shura Council's support to the peace declaration, which was signed between Bahrain and Israel, describing the step as a historic achievement on the path of comprehensive peace in the region. He stressed the independence and sovereignty of Bahrain's decisions, led by His Majesty the King, hailing the bold and strategic move which serves vital national interests. Saleh said that these sovereign and independent decisions are not directed against any entity of power, serving only Bahrain's interests which aim to consolidate the price of good neighborliness. He commended the royal follow-up of the dedicated national efforts to precautionary measures and health protocols to combat the coronavirus. 
The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, received the GCC Secretary General, Dr. Naif Falah Al Hajraf, and his accompanying delegation. They discussed the GCC march and means of enhancing the Council's role to achieve set up goals. He underscored the significant achievements of the GCC, stressing Bahrain's keenness to further boost joint cooperation. He also emphasized the importance to continue promoting economic cooperation and integration to achieve forecast goals and create more investment opportunities. The GCC Secretary General expressed sincere thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Finance for the gracious welcome, lauding the role of Bahrain in achieving GCC integration. The King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence organized a remote symposium on the peace process in the Middle East on the sidelines of the 75th session of the UN General Assembly held currently in New York. International diplomatic and political figures unanimously agreed that the Kingdom of Bahrain in general and the King Hamad Center in particular are extraordinarily qualified to lead the peace process in the Middle East region and play a pivotal role in motivating more Arab countries to conclude peace treaties and established diplomatic relations with the State of Israel. The main speakers emphasized that Bahrain, by signing the Declaration in Support of Peace, has paved the way for ending regional conflicts and opened the way for prosperity, sustainable development and economic development for the countries and people of the region. They valued the tireless efforts made by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to spread the values of tolerance, peaceful coexistence and respect for religious freedoms based on Bahrain's long history in this field. To begin with, um, King Ahmad established that uh, center a long time ago before, uh, before this peace opportunity occurred. And it would be a wonderful idea if an Arab state, an initiator of the peace process that has a, a, uh, a center for human dignity and tolerance should play a leading role. Someone said years ago, that when there is peace amongst the religions, there can be peace in the world. And therefore, the Hamad Center for me uh, is a statement of the importance of religious dialogue uh, because peace doesn't happen in a vacuum. Uh, it happens because it's predicated on relationships amongst various people. You notice that the Accords are called the Abraham Accords. Abraham is a patriarch uh, of the Bible. And maybe that also says to us, once again, that where we speak to each other with full respect because love your neighbor is something that transcends a particular denomination. It doesn't say love your Jewish neighbor, or your Muslim neighbor, your Christian, love your neighbor, it applies to all. So I think we have a responsibility uh, in the faith world of continuing to strengthen the lines of communication because that impacts uh, on peace as well. Can Bahrain host further peace talks? Of course it can. Um, Bahrain is a country that uh, I, I believe is the only country that has uh, the only Arab country that has had a Jewish ambassador um, in its service um, in America. Um, it has a strong tradition of engaging with everyone because of its unique position um, in, in the Gulf. Um, and it can work with everyone to try and bring countries together around the table for peace. The Ministry of Health affirmed that the coronavirus threat calls for positive cooperation through community awareness and strict adherence to the precautionary measures in order to preserve the health and safety of everyone. The Assistant Undersecretary for Primary Health at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Manal Al Alawi, underscored the vital role played by every individual through commitment to the precautionary measures to curb the spread of the virus by adhering to all preventive measures and instructions issued by the national medical team to combat the coronavirus. Dr. Al Alawi stated that social responsibility requires everyone to urge their relatives and those around them to adhere to all instructions and precautionary measures during the next two weeks, emphasizing the importance of avoiding gatherings and following social distancing standards. She reiterated that commitment within the next two weeks is vital to reduce the number of existing cases in the kingdom. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 6,902 with 676 recoveries, 713 registered new cases and three deaths. 146 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 563 are contacts of active cases and four are travel related. The deceased were an 83, a 40 and a 67 year old male citizens. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules, follow instructions 
and avoid public places when possible.